。好，第三十条咧就问翻个果实啊有咩用处嘅？咁啊，第一句啦就话果实咧系可以作为种子发芽嘅食物储存之用、哦。咁当然呢个系错啦。咁啊，因为种子自己咧。本身都係有嘢食儲存住噶啦，就儲存喺個紙葉 c o n d e l a n d o n 嗰樹。咁啊，佢總之發芽咪自己用自己啲嘢食咯。你去睇啲農夫去種田種地啊，你唔會見佢成個番茄掉落去噶嘛，佢係掉啲番茄種子落去嘅啫嘛。咁所以第一句咧就錯咗嘅。跟住到第二句咧就話果實咧係可以吸引到啲動物。去幫手咧做呢個種子嘅散播，咁呢個咧係正確嘅。咁啊，因為啦，好似番茄呢啲咧咁鮮豔顏色嘅果實啦，仲要好 juicy 啦，好多汁啦，係咪？咁的確可以吸引到啲動物咧嚟食佢嘅。咁但係啲種子自己都要爭氣嘅，因為啲種子咧自己都要去 resist 得到、抵抗得到咧啲消化酶嘅作用。即係起碼佢唔會俾人消化咗先啦。咁不被消化就不會被吸收。咁所以啦，啲種子咧到頭來咧都會同個糞便一齊咧就被排放出嚟。咁對於啲種子嚟計咧係開心嘅。咁其實咧啲種子喺啲屎入面一齊俾人排出咧係有好處嘅。一來啦，佢俾人曾經消化過。啊，當種子發芽嘅時候咧，其實嗰個 seed coat 啊，嗰個種皮咧係容易啲破開。咁再加上啦，當佢發芽形成咗一個幼苗嘅時候咧。咁其實再加埋你哋 ecosystem 學過嘅嘢啦，係咪？咁啊有啲細菌就將嗰啲誒糞便嘅有機物就變成無機物，例如嗰啲 nitrate 啦，咁啊俾幼苗咧吸咗佢，其實佢仲開心。咁當然啦，今次我哋淨係講個番茄佢好鮮豔顏色吸引啲動物咧，呢句咧係正確嘅。至於第三句啦，就係話咧呢個 food wall 咧係可以當作成一個 cushion 啊，咁啊保護啲種子嘅。嚇就當成個番茄跌落地下嘅時候咧，就唔會整爛啲種子。咁呢個咧本身係錯嘅。咁本身咧，我哋都有學過 fruit wall 呢一樣嘢，或者 fruit 啦果實呢一樣嘢咧，的確佢係可以保護到啲種子嘅。咁當然即係我哋成日去諗嘅就，喂成隻香蕉跌落地下，咁只香蕉啲種子唔會爛嘅。個番茄跌落地下，啲種子都唔會爛嘅。咁其實你掉啲種子落地下，佢都唔會無啦啦爛噶啦。咁所以啦，所謂保護種子呢，都係講緊咧，當啲種子都未去預備好啊，去發芽嘅時候啦，咁梗係唔好去 expose， 唔好去暴露出嚟啦，係咪？咁所以啦，例如啦，太容易暴露喺環境底下呢，其實係會脱水嘅。咁所以啦，而家有個、呃、果實去保護住啲種子呢，咁其中嘅原因呢，就係、是、避免佢哋脱水啦。咁但係啦，係咪真係要作為一個 c o o 去保護佢呢？個番茄跌落地爛咗。系冇乜所謂嘅，甚至乎係有好處嘅。因為當個番茄跌爛咗嘅時候啦，其實啲種子咪就係 expose 咗、暴露咗出嚟咯。咁其實都係其中一款散播嘅方法嚟噶。你幻想下，當個番茄真係跌落地下爛鬼咗，啲種子流咗出嚟嘅時候啦，其實佢咪已經可以進行發芽咯。當發芽嘅時候啦，誒啱啱好啊，個個番茄跌到爛鬼咗，跟住啦，慢慢又腐爛啊，跟住之後啦，我咪有養分可以用咯。咁但係作為枯筍嘅話咧，其實就真係。冇乜必要咁样做啊，咁所以答案咧就只有二用列啦。Question thirty two is asking structure why the fruit can serve as the following functions. For the function one, the fruit can act as the food store for the seed germination, which is wrong statement because the seed they contain their own food storage in the cordelandon for the seed germination. So that's why we see the farmer they will not put the whole tomato in the field. They will just put the seed in the field, right? So that's why for the statement one is wrong, and for statement number two, attraction to the animal for seed dispersal, it is a correct statement because for the tomato, which is a bright ripe fruit and is juicy as well, it can attract the animal to eat them. But the seed, they need to resist the action of the digestive enzyme as well, because after the monkey, they eat the fruit, so. The seed will pass through the whole digestive system, the stomach, the small intestine. So a lot of enzyme will try to digest the food. So that's why they need to resist the action of the digestive enzyme. It's because the seed they are not digest, so that's why they will not be absorbed. So that's why the seed will be dispersed when they pass out in the feces. So actually, it's a benefit for the seed to be passed out with the feces. Because when they grow up, because when the seed germinates to become the stealing, and they grow up, of course they will use up their own food storage. And then what if they are in the feces? That will be nice because the bacteria we learn in the ecosystem they will decompose the organic substance in the feces to be the inorganic nutrients such as the nitrate for the stealing to absorb. So that's a good thing. Now we just focus on the fruit wall. They are. 
brightly colored enough to attract the animal. So that's why second one is correct. And for the statement number three, it says that the fruit can serve as the cushion to protect the seed during falling. So of course, we learn it from the book. The fruit wall somehow they can provide a certain degree of protection for the seed. For example, prevent dehydration. Because when the seed is not that ready for the seed dispersal or seed germination or even for the whole fruit, not that ripen. So it's not favorable to expose the seed at this early stage. But it's not necessary for the fruit wall to serve as the cushion to protect the seed during falling. Or it can be regarded as the benefit if the fruit wall is broken after falling on the ground. The fruit wall is broken and then the seed, they will be exposed to the environment. And it's a kind of being dispersed. And then the seed can germinate and then to become a new plant. So that's why for the third one, it's not correct. So that's why the answer is boy.